Hello Year 8 Art um, students, you have been um, working on a warm up before watching this video so hopefully you are feeling um, loose in your arms and especially your shoulder and your elbow and you're ready to draw some nice flowing lines because we are going to be looking at Don Binney's birds and how um, they have a lot of flowing lines and really clean lines in their form and shape. Um, I'm going to demonstrate with this heron here. Try out potentially both of these two um, in the style of Don Binney. So I'm just going to quickly do a warm up first before I get started um, like you guys and then I will get started drawing. Okay, I am back. I have done my warm up. Now I'm going to switch over to a new page. I'm going to make sure that I have my image of my um, my birds um, here. You guys will have them on your device because you're going to choose some New Zealand birds, um, two New Zealand birds for this lesson um, from either what you collected last week in our, on our Friday lesson or you're finding some new ones. So I've chosen this here and here and I'm going to hopefully keep it in the shot so that you can kind of see how I am identifying the um, forms. I might need to fold this paper over so that it will stay in the shot um, and I'm going to draw above it. We'll do it at the top. So one thing about this bird I can see is this like bottom line here which I'm going to make nice and smooth and then he's got this kind of shape along here so I'm going to just really lightly draw that shape and try to figure out that type of shape here he's got his like front beak and then it drops down and then it loops back up so I'm trying to keep my my line really flowing because that is something that Don Vinny does within his designs or of his birds. And see how his neck kind of drops down into like quite a crease in there. So I'm trying to make that nice and smooth in there. And then we're going to pop back up. See how this is quite a corner there on his body and his body goes behind his wing. Okay, that's a starting point. Now this might not be the right proportion. I might need to make his body a little bit longer, but I'm drawing nice and lightly so that I can change things. Okay, um, and now his wing is going to come up here. I'm actually going to have to shift his, his image, this image below. So now I can see the wings and we're going to probably come up in this direction and this other wing comes out here. One thing you can do is you can line up your pencil to the angles or the edges on a um, image and you can always like line it up on your page which could be quite helpful for you if you're wanting to know how things might change the shape of things might change on your drawing. And then we're trying to get these nice sweeping lines of these wings in here. Okay, we've got really big wings here. Nice and smooth lines. Maybe we're going to make that quite sharp there. And then we've got a tail that we're missing out on here. You can see his little tail. And hopefully... We can add in some really long feet. He often hasn't, he, Don Bunny, if you actually look at some of his um, photos again, the photos of his artwork on um, our assignment slides, you'll see that often the legs have been removed. So could even not um, include them in our bird. So here is a, an attempt of a bird. 
Now what the next step I could do is start to shade it in, looking at um, where it is darker in the bird and where it is lighter, okay, and trying to make it look nice and smooth. But before you do that, I'd really like you to have a practice of shading in something and making that blend from dark to light. So I'm going to go really lightly with my pencil and do it quite soft lines. They need to blend in with one another, so they need to blur. They need to overlap one another so we don't see the lines anymore. Okay, and we're going to go from dark to light. So I don't need to add any more sh pencil on there. I'm not going to smudge with my finger. We're not smudging with our fingers. And then I can add in some more color, some more um, tone of my pencil. And see how we're starting to get this area a bit darker. And I can go over again. And it's getting even darker. So I'm going lightly. I'm not actually pressing any darker than I did when I applied that first layer. So it's about applying layers of... So when I'm going to do the dark underside of his belly and his wing here and maybe the edge here, I am going to start off lightly. Start off really lightly and I'm actually going to change his wing after observing it a little bit longer. I realize that I want to change that shape in there and that his, his wing kind of comes back a little bit. So I've changed. I'm not using an eraser. Um, you may have an eraser in the art class that you're working in today, but I'm not guaranteeing anything, so you have to remember to draw really lightly. Okay, so I'm applying my stroke. You could stretch all the way across, or you could do areas at a time. And what I'm wanting is my stroke to blend in with one another. I could go in the opposite direction, but I'm trying not to. I just try to do the tidy up the edge. I might zoom up this next section so you can kind of see this go a little faster. Okay, now that you see I have created my wings and I've got some nice flowing lines in here, I've also done a little bit of an outline of my final shape that I'm happy with at the end, right? I didn't do it at the start with my dark lines, I did it at the end. So I'd really like you to be um, trying that out yourself. And another thing is blending your strokes with your shading in with one another. So practice this. You need to do this. Try this on your page as well. Okay, so do this with two birds today. And I'm looking forward to seeing your smooth lines and your Don Binney style birds on Friday.